YouTube's captions insert explicit language in kids' videos. AI that transcribes spoken dialogue on the platform standard version can render corn as porn, beach as bitch, and brave as struggle snuggle. And why does this piss me off? Well, because anyone who's ever dealt with any AI whatsoever, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time to get it trained up. It's never going to be perfect. Even humans mishear each other all the time. But th this, the media, the sensationalist media, who's just looking for, for clickbait headlines to capitalize on outrage, might very well lead to the cancellation of this AI before it's even had a chance to properly develop. Oh, it made one mistake and put one naughty word in a video that a kid might have seen. It's the end of the world. If only the parents knew that kids were using these words like they were sailors on the school playground every damn day. But oh my God, little Billy saw the word porn in a YouTube video. Let's cancel this AI. Because we keep being overly concerned with the emotions of idiots, we're holding ourselves back. Like, this does piss me off quite a bit. If we could just cut these parasites off, if we could just remove the ball and chain that's holding us back, we could have been exploring the solar system right now. But nope, Karen might get offended. We can't do that. Nearly 400,000 people subscribe to YouTube account Bob the Robot, learning videos for chillins. In one current year minus two video, the animated humanoid and his friends visit a stadium-themed planet and attempt feats inspired by Heracles. Their adventures are suitable for the elementary school set, but young readers who switch on YouTube's automated captions might expand their vocabulary. At one point, YouTube's algorithms mishear the words brave and caption a character aspiring to be strong and struggle snuggle like Heracles. Oh, what a tragedy! An AI made a mistake. Let's convince the world that it's bad and needs to be shut down. A new study of YouTube's algorithmic captions on videos aimed at kids documents how text sometimes veers into very adult language. In a sample of more than 7,000 videos from 24 top-ranked kids' channels, 40% displayed words in their captions found on a list of 1,300 taboo terms. Remember when it used to just be seven words you can't say? Now that we're more free than ever, it's 1,300. Isn't that just a funny coincidence? Huh. Real weird. I, I, I just I just don't get it. Now, in this entire study, not only does this double as outrage, like clickbaiting, I bet some waste of oxygen, useless degree-seeking college student did their entire dissertation on this. And drawn in part from a study on cursing, uh, about 1% of the videos captions include the words from a list of 16 highly inappropriate terms, with YouTube's algorithms most likely to add in the words bitch, bastard, or penis. Okay, so people who are in the dog breeding scene can't use legitimate terms for female dogs. If you're a medieval weapon enthusiast, I guess you're going to be showing off your censored sword. And penis? It's 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 part of the anatomy. It's a body part. It's not even dirty slang for it. That's what it's called. What else are you going to ban? Eyeball? Nose? Finger? Why not ban those too? Those are body parts. God, this is what happens when you don't check the Puritans early. You let the Puritans have their way for too long, and this is the kind of word, uh, the, the kind of world we end up with, huh? Now, some videos posted on Ryan's World, uh, a top kids channel with more than 30 million subscribers, illustrates the problem. On one, the phrase, uh, you should also buy corn, is uh, rendered in captions as you should also buy porn. In other videos, a beach towel is just transcribed as a bitch towel. Buster becomes bastard and crab becomes crap. Oh my God! They said crap? Oh, dude. Okay, I understand right now. 
Like, I didn't know how bad the problem was. Oh, man, if I knew that my 10-year-old saw the word crap, oh, I would flip my shit, man. Dude, this is a serious problem. Never mind. I'm convinced. I can't believe they let kids hear the word crap. This this is too far, man. We're going to have to write our congressman. And craft video uh, in a craft video making monster themed dollhouse features a bed for penis. <laughs> Isn't that what like boxer shorts are basically? <laughs> oh God. Yeah. I'm literally shaking. Okay. So uh, it may not be the case for all of you, but as someone who used to be a kid, I was saying way worse than all of the above in elementary school. Parents who flip out at this are either extremely sheltered or they're hypocritical pieces of shit. Because I bet they were saying all these words when they were kids and now they act all offended when their kids do the same. It's startling and disturbing, says Ashik Kudabuksh, an assistant professor at Rochester. Look, of course it's fucking academia. Assistant Professor Rochester Institute of Technology, who researched the problem with collaborators uh, Kritika Ramesh and Sumit Kumar at the Indian School of Business in Hyderabad. <laughs> it's always academia. They got nothing else to do. So they manufacture outrage and get a legit, interesting, and potentially like the, the possibility to really improve things. Like they're getting this AI project shut down just so they can further their career in academia. Because you you know they're going to use this scalp as a trophy. If this AI gets shut down and YouTube shuts down their auto-captioning bot, they're, they're going to go around bragging about it. Oh, hey, I'm the one that shut down YouTube's captioning AI. Aren't I awesome? Automated captions are not available on YouTube Kids, the version of the service aimed at children, but many families use the standard version of YouTube where they can be seen. Oh, my! this is the worst part of this article, in my opinion. Like, oh, the kids version already doesn't have it, but if the parents refuse to use the kids version and let their kids use the regular version, they might see bad things. And it's somehow the AI's fault and not the parents' fault. It's all starting to click together now, isn't it? This is yet another case of shitty parents wanting the entire rest of the world to parent their kids for them. The Pew Research Center reported in current year minus two that 80% of parents to children 11 and younger said their child watched YouTube content and more than 50% of the children did so daily. Good. That's where all the good stuff is. Kuda Books hopes uh, the study would draw attention to a phenomenon that he says has gotten little notice from tech companies and researchers that he dubs inappropriate content hallucination, where algorithms add unsuitable material not present in the original content. Now, let, let me uh, let, let me just full disclosure. Let let me say this: as a content creator, I do support them actually fixing these bots because let me look at it this way if i said something that sounds a little bit too close to the the dreaded power word n and the bot thought i said it i might get in trouble because of what the bot thought i said if the bot thinks i used the dreaded power word n and someone flags it and it goes through the review, and yeah, it's in the transcript. He said it. Now, it might win on appeal, but it could actually cause a lot of trouble for me and my channel if I got false flagged based on what an AI thought I said. Now, in my opinion, the solution would be cut the crap with banned words if you're literally policing what words people are allowed to say, then you're a pathetic piece of fucking shit. So the solution would be to let people say what they want. But since that's not an option in the era of uh, offended snowflakes, at the very least, they need to put a system in place so creators can't get in trouble what an auto transcript program did. 
Now, think of it as the flip side of the common observation uh, that autocomplete on smartphones often filters adult language to a ducking, annoying degree. <laughs> and you want YouTube to do the same thing. See, th th this again, another horrible part of this article. Hey, you know that feature of autocorrect that everybody hates? We need that on YouTube, too, to protect the children from incompetent piece of shit parents. You know, the benefits of, of speech to text are undeniable, but there are blind spots in the system that can require checks and balances. Yeah, just think of all the massive damage that a kid seeing the word crap can cause. Now, YouTube spokesperson Jessica Gibby said chillins under 13 are recommended to use YouTube kids. Now, technically, you're legally not even allowed to use YouTube unless you're 13, by the way. At least you can't have an account. On the standard version of YouTube, she says the feature improves accessibility. We are continually working on improving automatic captions and reducing errors, she says. Now, this is a very funny thing to talk about. Because right now, it, it, the woke are going to fight amongst themselves. So now it's a fight between protect the chillins and increased accessibility for people with disabilities. Ready? Fight! Alafir Hall, a spokesperson for Pocket.Watch, a chillins entertainment studio that publishes Ryan's World content, said in a statement, the company is in close and immediate contact with our platform partners such as YouTube uh, to, who work to update any incorrect video captions. The operator of the Rob the Robot channel cannot be reached for comment. Well, literally just let them modify their own captions and the problem will be solved. It's not that hard. So inappropriate hallucinations are not unique to YouTube or video captions. One wired reporter found that the transcript of a phone call processed uh, by startup Trent rendered uh, a word that I can't even say on YouTube, even though it's not inappropriate. A whammon's name of Persian origin as a variant of power word N even though it sounds distinctly different to the human ear. Yeah, remember those Japanese players that got banned for saying the word run because it sounds so too close to something Americans get offended by? This just makes the case for segregating the internet by region again. Maybe this whole global thing was a mistake. No, Trent CEO Jeffrey Kaufman says the service has a profanity filter that automatically redacts a very small list of words. The particular spelling of the word in Wired's transcript was not on the list, Kaufman said, but it will be added. People's entire jobs are trolling like this. That's what's sad. This is current year, guys. This is the clown world we're forced to live in. I, I wish this was all a joke, but oh, it's the world that's a joke.